Come on in, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome in, y'all. Welcome in. Brother Cedric, my God. <laughs> Just a reminder, if new kings are coming in, all the kings should be sitting over here. This is the king section. No, you good. I just needed to close it. You good.
Shout out to DJ Kun Love Jr. <laughs> On the ones. Hey, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's get started. Blessings, everybody. We're going to get started. First thing I need everybody to do is give yourself a round of applause for being in the space today. Please, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Come on, one more time. I mean, two more times. This is a, a celebration that we all are going to participate in. Mm -hmm. And I like engagement. And so I'll set the stage by saying, I'm a big fan of call and responses. One of the models that we have embraced this year out of the Office of African Amer American Male Achievement is that we show up. And when we say that we show up, we're not just talking about us as adults, mm. but we're talking about your children as well. Okay. We're talking about the pouring out that we do mm. in them, and then we talk about the reciprocation of knowledge, joy, love, and wisdom that we get from them as well. This is a two-way street, mm -hmm. all right? So when I say we, y'all gonna say what? Then why, you didn't say it. We show up. We show up. Okay, yes we do. So my name is Brother Will King, Project Program Coordinator for the Office of African American Male Achievement. And this fine young gentleman next to me is my name is, trying to find my, my name is Trayvon Mitchell. Uh, yes, yes. I'm a student mentor for African American Male Achievement. I remember I, I went through Kingmakers. Now I'm working for them. Can I get a pause for that? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, no. But no, it's, 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 it's for a sort so of moment. I'm glad I'm still here with y'all. I'm also a student at the University of Washington, you know. That's right. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a little bit about me. Uh, I think Mr. King's going to talk about it. See, when you, when you start letting them spread their wings early, then they just start taking off flying all over the place. But I want to, I thought about this on the way here. Um, we didn't plan this, actually, for me and Trayvon to be the MCs for the evening. But when we talk about kingmakers, you're actually looking at history mm. as it relates to kingmakers. Mm -hmm. It started back in 2017. A lot of people don't know this, but kingmakers is actually older than the Office of African American Male Achievement. It started yeah. before the office did. Mm. And Brother M is in the building, but Brother M and I were first generation facilitators. And Trayvon was one of my first students in seventh grade. So look how long and strong kingmakers has been running and what it's been doing but I just wanted to share a little bit of piece of that history there. But before, before uh, we do our, our, um, our land acknowledgement, I wanna just make an announcement real quick, is that some of you were inside and you had a chance to do the raffle. I don't know if raffle certificates are still being handed out or not. Hopefully you kept on to yours because there are actually three more prizes to be won. I'm not gonna tell you when I'm gonna do them, but I'm going to do them. So make sure you got your raffle ticket on you, OK? If you lost it, my condolences <laughs> to your ticket. Without further ado, um, I'm about to bring a beautiful woman to the stage that has always blessed us with her cultural wisdom to do the land acknowledgement for us. So please give a round of applause for Gail Morris. Thank you very much. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Come on. Mm -hmm. Did I mention it's the land that you live on? Come on, come on. blessing. 
want to thank Creator for everyone in this room. I want to thank Him for family, community, and gatherings that uplift our students and all that they do. I want to thank my ancestors for the land that we're on. I want to thank everyone that put this together to make this happen and to bring our students here and to guide them through this important part of their life. In that, true, amen. Amen. My name is Michelle Sarju, and I have the extreme and distinct honor to serve as your school board representative um, Y'all are the reason that I'm doing this, because otherwise I'd be crazy. Anyway, um, we would like to acknowledge that we are on the ancestral lands of the traditional territories of the Puget Sound Osage people. A blessing to the land. like to acknowledge that the Muckleshoot Indian Tribe is our treaty tribe in the Seattle and King County area and that the Suquamish Indian Tribe is our treaty tribe up to the Elliott Bay boundaries. Seattle Public Schools shares a government-to-government -government relationship with both tribes. We also want to acknowledge the Duwamish people on this land and the Duwamish tribal organization um, that for those Duwamish that are still here. I'm Gail Morris. I'm the native ed manager, but more importantly, I am Nakama First Nations, a Housett band from the west coast of Vancouver. On my mother's side, I'm Shawnee, Scottish, and Irish. On my father's side, he's from West Virginia. And I, um, I'm just honored to be here. I just want to raise my hand to all the kings in the house and to all of their families and guardians and community that get them here and everybody here on the stage, uh, you know, brother... Will is amazing, and Mia, Mia, Mia is amazing. And as always, thank you for having us um, and having me. And I was just so glad to stand with Michelle up here at this time, or Director Sarju. <laughs> In my culture, as I leave, I'm going to raise my hands to you, and that means I that I honor you in the highest way. And you can do this any time. Please give them another round of applause, please. Man, hey, there's something I want to emphasize, too. She said, thank the creator. If it wasn't for the creator, we wouldn't be here. Uh, so thank God for that. And then also, she said, our ancestors. Our ancestors fought for us so we can be here today. So give it up for our ancestors. Ah, this great gentleman I want to bring up. Uh, I didn't know when I, I didn't know I, I should say gentleman, but you know he's he's a great guy. I love him. Um, and you know me and him go I should say way back. I'm not old. I'm only 19, but uh, um, <laughs> I, I I call him like my second dad, man. He he has he has been in my life. He's been a, a huge impact in my life. You know, he, he, so one time he grabbed my ear because I was acting off, but, you know, he's my guy. And he, he actually worked for the African-American Male Achievement uh, before, but now he's doing bigger and better. But I want to introduce Mr. Adam Hazlip, if he's somewhere in the crowd. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on, come on. You got you to gotta come over here, man. Just <laughs> Peace and power, people. How y'all doing tonight? That was weak, y'all. Peace and power. How y'all doing tonight? Sister Gail, Director Sarju, thank you for coming up here. Dr. Mia, thank you for letting me be in space with the people. Oh, she left. Uh, <laughs> Superintendent Jones, thank you for rolling the red carpet and welcoming me back. Man. Beautiful people, make some noise for yourself again, please. If you look good, you feel good, make some noise. Ah! 
I feel good. I look good. All right. Check me out. So a few years ago, Mr. Donaldson, good to see you, King. The elder is in the space. Uh, did we already do libation? Okay. All right. All right. Stay in my lane. Um, a few years ago, Dr. Rochelle Rogers R. Um, I was blessed by something she shared with the people. And it is such a, a wonderful gift whenever we have any of our indigenous brothers and sisters that come and give honor to the land and the elders that came before them. And it is also hyper apparent, excuse me, hyper important that we also honor our elders that have gone before us. So Dr. Rochelle Rogers R. wrote this beautiful piece and she titled it, a land, labor, and body acknowledgement, and I will attempt um, to carry the same presence that she does when she delivers it. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands on which we work, live, and die. The environments where we stand today are the homeland of the traditional village sites and territory of the Duwamish, the Lummi, the Coelis, the Nisqually, the Tulalip, the Coast Salish peoples. And I further recognize and acknowledge that the burden of environmental degradation and systemic injustice squarely falls upon the labor of black and brown bodies in the building of this great country, our great state, and all of these institutions. Yeah, y'all can clap for that. We built this. I remember that black and brown people were born and died working the land against their will for generations through the enslavement of people who were kidnapped and brought to this country from the African continent. And through the theft of land, water, and territories, also in the breaking of treaties with our indigenous brothers and sisters. I acknowledge the continued contributions of the labor of their survivors over the centuries until today, and of all immigrant labor, including that which is voluntary and involuntary, trafficked, forced, and undocumented peoples in the building of this country. Therefore, I commit to ensuring that the labor, the spirit, the resilience, and the leadership of black and brown bodies is centered in my work for the rest of my life. Thank y'all for hearing that word, and I just want to close with this. Trey, I didn't move on to bigger and better, brother. There's nothing bigger and better than working for the Office of African American Male Achievement. I just had to move on. God bless y'all. Give another hand for brother Adam Hazlip, my thought partner. Without further ado, if you've never heard Brother Kalfani and his brothers, they're going to do the opening libation. He asked me what was going to be his cue. I told him this was going to be his cue. Brother Kalfani, do you. Shikamo means we greet you with the utmost respect. Ashe, be a Pan African word of power. That for our East African Maasai nation of families, that is an opening blessing of prayer and salutation. It is for our West African Yoruba nation of families a covering blessing of affirmation. Naomi Ruhusa was a wangu katoa do Natambiko asks, may I have permission, Baba Kamal, to offer a prayer and libation? 
My Bible says yes. Now, Asante means thank you. Next, we'll pose the pillar fours of libation pours, our ancestral affirmation, floral irrigation, historical narration, all for spiritual supplication, I say. Now, because when we do classical African ritual, there are no observers. We say, Naomba Ruhusa was a Wangu Kotoa Dua Natambiko. There are no observers to African ritual. So we're going to slow it down like this. This is you. Put your hands together. Don't go, don't rush now. Slow it down. Pole, 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 pole. Hey. Is anybody clapping? I'm not sure. Are there some kingmakers in here? Is anybody clapping? I'm not sure. Is there some kingmakers here? Woo! With our brother. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Libation to honor our ancestors is a critical ritual. Tom Biko be a timeless Pan African teaching found from KwaZulu, Nakinko here, back, back, back to the Book of Ani of Kemet or classical Nubia in Egypt to honor our ancestors by pouring libation. Now, Nahusi. Namalana, they say much of this. While well, Ani says, pour a libation for your father and mother who rest in the valley of the departed. God, God, God will witness your actions and accept them. Do not forget this. Even when you are away from home, for as you do for your parents who rest in the valley of the departed, so too will your children do likewise for you when you rest in the valley of the departed. I say. Now that we do a. Grab that microphone. We've okay. centered the sacred in this time and space, at this place. Now, we can say thus. Takes a minute to hear the rhythm, doesn't it? Got to keep it together. Got to do it together. Thank you. Yes. and mothers came here, live, love, struggle, and built here. At this place there, 
love and labor rose like the sun and gave strength and meaning to the day for them then who gave so much we give in return on this same soil we will sow our seeds and build and move in unity and strength here too we'll continue their struggle for liberation and a higher level of humane life may our eyes be the eagle may our strength be the elephant may the boldness of our lives be like the lion and may we remember and honor our ancestors and the legacy they left for as long as the sun shines and the waters flow, I say. For our people everywhere then, for Shaka, Samari, Nzinga Nadahia Al Kahina, for Makada, Menelik, Chete Yo, Dingiz Yo, for Nehanda, Yasentewa, Sankara, and all the others known and unknown who defended our ancestral land, high story, and humanity from alien and hostile invaders, we say, I sure. For Muhammad, Medgar, Malcolm, Martin, for Harriet, Fannie Lou, Sojourner, Bethune, and Nat Turner. For Ida B, Bobby Wright, Bell Hooks, Doc Ben, John G and Jonathan Jackson, and all the others who dared to define, defend, and develop our interests all across the black Atlanta Pacifica. Ajay. And now, it's your turn. Now it's your turn to call your ancestors for all of these and all of the good things, for the kingmakers, you the kingmakers, you for coming here, you for doing the work that got you here, that got you the recognition you gonna earn today. Bring your ancestors into the room by calling them by name. If they've passed, call them by name. Ashe, call them by name. Ashe, if they've passed, call them by name. Ashe, if they've passed, call them by name. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Ashe, now, to spring up what's next, I really need your help. We said call and response, right? So I want y'all on this side, in time with the music. When I point, you say, ooh. When I point, you say, ooh. When I point, you say, ooh. When I point, y'all say, yeah. When I point, y'all say, ooh. When I point, y'all say, ooh. When I point, y'all say, yeah. When I point, y'all say, yeah. When I point, y'all say, ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Here's a chant. Remember this. My feet. My 
my feet. Ooh, 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 my feet. Who? My feet. Who? Everybody give it another round of applause, please. Uh, man, I thought that was dope. Ooh, yeah. Man, I don't know what will happen to the ooze, though. They, they, they man, they killed y'all. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, what we have next is uh, something that we do before class, I think. I think y'all still do it. Hopefully y'all still do it. It's pretty much the affirmations and, you know, for you to start class and feel empowered because, you know, about the other classes, you probably feel alone. But in here, we, we do stuff together. You feel me? You feel me? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But now what we have next is, you know, uh, we're, we, have, we have kings from each school to do the, to do the man up, I mean, the king's pledge. They changed it up a little bit. But yeah, they came to do the king's pledge. So all the kings, can y'all please come, come on stage? Please give him a round of applause. Good evening, everybody. Could y'all stand up? Everybody stand up and put your uh, right arm up, right fist up. And repeat after us. The world of Josh Rukov that shut me out. But my superior thoughts will draw me in. I am a king. Failure is just as easy as success to obtain. I was born to win and I will win. I will not let the names and labels given me by society define who I am. I am a king. Education can be painful. But being a litter is even more painful. I am a king. My success and education are partners. No misfortune can depress or possess, possess me. I am a king. Without an education, a man is a slave. A no man wandering from here and there. Believing whatever he is told. I am a king. Time and opportunity will come to all of us. I will be courageous and not discouraged. I will shout from the mountaintop. That this is my time, my place, my world. I'm a king. I'm a king. I'm a king. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, greet your brothers. Greet your brothers. Greet your brothers. Woo, they had it. almost wanted to tear my, my sweatshirt open. We 
Somebody forgot already. We. We. That's what I meant when I said we show up. Not just us, them too. And they showed out. Appreciate you, Kings. Give them another round of applause, y'all. Uh, we have some more treats for y'all. But what I want to do right now... Okay. That's not for me? Okay. Is uh, one of the things that we've tried to do with intentionality is to be able to bring you into the classroom space and take part in the experience. If that's me that's doing that, let me know, Damari. Um, and, and it's very difficult to do that. The only way you can really grasp the true experience of what takes place in the Kingmaker's classroom is for you to actually go in to the classroom. So this year, that's what I did. I took my little iPhone, went to Best Buy, bought me a little mic system, trying to be Edgar out here and film stuff. And I captured some amazing moments in the Kingmaker classroom, which turned out to be like two hours worth of stuff. I'm only going to show you an hour and 45 minutes of it. <laughs> Actually, it's six minutes, so don't worry about that. But I want you to pay close attention to the wide gamut of learning that happens in this space. Let's go. Damari, let them have it. Oh, no volume. Can we stop it and start over till we get the volume right? Kings, peace, please, peace, peace. Mateo, keep moving. Keep moving, Mateo. Here we go. All right, y'all, all good. Let's go. Let's go. Have a good one, baby. All right. Come on, Paul. Let's do it. All right. Uh, going back to the do now, I want a couple of you guys' answers real quick. Um, in what ways do social constructs influence our daily lives? And... Uh, societal norms. Social construct influences our daily lives and social norms by setting us up our thoughts and uh, influencing how we think. For example, when we walk into Kingmakers, it is agreed on what, upon all of us, so how and how we should walk in and what we should do after. So we all walk in the same. And that's how, and that's an example of how social construct influences our daily lives. All right, so you, you went the route of wearing the crown every day. Okay. How old was he? 30 plus. 30 plus. Hear me when I say this, you guys. If you, if, you, if you miss the steps, okay, of what it takes to be a, a productive member of society, it doesn't matter how old you are. I promise you, it doesn't matter if you're 16, 26, 36. Hell, I've even seen some brothers that are 56 that still have not gotten it down, okay? So the important thing, again, and that's what you guys are doing at an early age, is getting what you need. Um, we are one minute over, one minute over. Sorry for my, my little box, it's pretty janky. We'll put drawers in there. Uh, try to find it. I'll be back around. Make sure your name's on the back side, too. Make sure your name's on the back side, fellas. Name's on the back side for me, please. Adam, can you please make sure that mess ain't everywhere, my beloved sixth grader? Yes. Oh, got it? Perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let me get a one volunteer to come pull a name for me, please. Ilias, let's get it. All right, you, you ready? You can't look, though. Mm -hmm. All right, bet. <laughs> Don't look at it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Go to your seat, please. All right, so our king, who will be talking about their weekend first, please stand up, say your name. Or we're going to do like this. We're going to guess first. We're going to guess. So this king said, 
His weekend, his weekend was amazing. Who do you guys think it was? Okay, okay. Specific is okay. Okay. Y'all ready? So the king who had an amazing Lloyd. weekend Lloyd. was Wait, LJ. LJ, please stand up. Uh, can somebody remind me what was the word of the week last week? Luminate. What does luminate mean? Something that shines. Something that shines, Lord, right? Light so up. Does it only have to do with like lights and stars and stuff like that, or does it have to do with us personally? Nothing can dim the light from within. If you guys still have a, even the smallest ember of fire within you, nothing can dim your light, nothing can stop you, okay? Remember that. I don't want to jade you guys to think of my old opinion. So I want it to be from you from within, and I want it to be authentic. And I want you guys to use each other collectively, because together, it's called collective genius, right? So together, you guys come up with the ideas on how this activity, what it do, what, what does this have to do with the history? When you guys come in these spaces, the classroom, not only in this classroom, but also outside of this classroom, I tell you that quitting is not an option for us, even if we don't know exactly what it is, right? Ask those questions to find out. Not quitting, right? Not giving up. So now, remember, we are talking about success, all right? This first part, census phrase word, we're gonna go through the song. You're gonna to underline some lyrics that you like because we're gonna use that for part two of this. What's something we can think about from, from our first listen to the song? What we take away from that first song? Talking about Okay, talking about his childhood. What else? Spot? Talking about like how he grew up. How he grew up. How he grew up. How he grew up. What else? Come on again. All the people that say he wasn't gonna be anything. All the people that say he wasn't, there we go, we're cooking. That's where we need to go. All the people say he wasn't gonna be anything. Whatever it is. We is right there. We we every time, every time. That was all right, huh? I just need some real camera equipment, man. I'm I'll be ready. Okay, without further ado, she told me not to gas her up, but I don't listen, and I'm about to. And this is what I call her. The beautiful queen that I'm about to bring to the stage today is your favorite rapper, favorite rapper, for real. She is a spoken word artist that is truly amazing. She is blessed with a gift of expression um, that a lot of people that have this gift, they do well, but she has created this lane for herself that just this notch of uniqueness in the way that she does it. There are a lot of favorites that um, I've heard from her, and I did ask her specifically 
to create something out of a conversation. Um, the kings in this space and in our program are in front of a lot of males a lot of times, and that's a great thing. Representation is important. Um, and I know that there's some queens in their lives as well outside of the classroom and even outside of school. But in this program, I wanted to bring a very intelligent, grounded in culture queen to come to the space to speak life into our kings today. So without further ado, please, I'm begging you, put a loud, warm hand of applause and welcome together for Sister Tia Yarbrough. Okay. I'm excited to be here. Can you give it up for yourselves? Come on, you can do better than that. And for the kings in the building, like Pastor King, that's what I call him. Um, like he said, my name is Tia Neshe Yarbrough. And tonight I'm a spoken word artist. I've been a lot of things. I was a school leader. I was a teacher with Seattle Public Schools. I've been a dean. I used to work at Denny. I've traveled Seattle um, serving in community and in education. But tonight I have the distinct honor of rendering a, a unique piece for you. I have enjoyed the call and response. It reminds me of a time when I was growing up and I don't know about you, but I grew up in the black church and there was always call and response. And I'm looking at the clock, it's about 6.55 and my dad has gone home to see the king, but he would be starting prayer right about now. And he would be singing one of those songs like I'm a soldier or what's his name or one of those songs that I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. You don't know like I know what he's done for me. You don't know like I know what he's done for me. Joy is a spiritual state. Happy is... The message in the mud that says there's always more. See, happy is a high, but joy sustains. Happy is a side, but joy is a main. Happy is fleeting, temporary for a time, but joy is a sign. I'm in relationship with the divine. See, it's joy on mine. Joy is what I choose in spite of what has changed. When happy burns away, joy is what remains. All right? Like Mr. King said, I wrote something especially for you this evening, and it's called The Crown. King, King, loved one, I pray that the village first remembers to call you son. So they'll protect the glint in your glow and the embers in your light that you live your right to be a boy before they ever call you a man. So that your innocence is preserved before your masculinity is preferred and we lead you toward manhood and love. That there is no need for violence or shed blood. That before you are bare, you get first to be cub. That childhood is both handshakes and hugs, overflowing joys, spilling from a treasure box. That affirmations of dreams fill your thoughts. That we cast down everything that says you are not because king, son, loved one, you are our old joy, that chocolate smile stretched the length of your face that you are not always referred to by race, but black boy joy is still a beautiful state of being. But king does have a ring when it's right and when it's time. The crown is your bloodline, that the honor of both human has always been divine, that it be decked in gems made of precious stones, that your mindset is the throne, that leadership starts at home, that you are mighty and you matter, that before you ever have to leave, that your heart fills with laughter, that you are not always told of the hardships to exist, but you belong, that you fit 
that success requires both intellect and grit, and you have everything you need within that the village sends the wind, that we hold up the sky so you have room to fly beyond the chaos, beyond the clouds, soaring toward the sun where love is loud because you've been planted in rich soil, that you live your life like you're royal. You are son, loved one, king, and I tell you that you are everything. God bless you. Oh my gosh, that was just beautiful. She said, King, you have a ring. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you for that. Can we please give another round of applause for her? <laughs> now up next, we have this dope artist. I forgot, uh, yeah, this, this dope artist, I remember he, he had went to Oakland with us to, you know, share his brilliance that he went through with Kingmaker. Uh, but no, but not further ado, I want to introduce Prince Cortez. Man, how everybody doing today? Yeah, so, uh, you know, just want to give a shout out to everybody who had a, who played a part in, especially taking us to Oakland. I feel like that was a dope opportunity for especially young black Africans like myself, uh, just to see what's out there other than Seattle. But, um, oh, sh shout out my boy, DJ Kun, you know what I'm saying? Uh, no. Yes, sir. Oh, and I'm a senior at Franklin High School. Just going to graduate this year. Yes, ma'am. All right. I ain't going to lie. I don't have a name for this song. This is just something I cooked up and, you know, about to perform. So let's get right into it, my boy. Yes, sir. Y'all already know who it is. And if y'all feel like it, please stand We use that new, new please flow. Stand Not that old flow. Yes, that new, new flow. Yes, sir. We got P. Got them summer coming up. So yeah. this shit's a taste. Tell me what you about, P. D. Breathe like the playoffs. I come around when you need me, like stay farm. But I hope that you don't need me too much. Gotta stay strong. You better pray to God if you scared. Need a youngin' on the mic. Ain't got it's little tears. Good grief, he be dropping bombs like a prez. In this case, clothes. I just killed his song. Now it's dead. Yeah. You thought I was done, but nah, boy, I'm on the road to the top, and I'm taking my time, boy. Hey, bro, then I tell you I'm making a rhyme, boy. Only 17, I ain't even hit my prime, boy. It's a sight. I'm on a scared, but you scary life. But if you come up on some cars, better play them right. Because if you don't, then the joker's going to laugh, and you'll be out of cars while you're sitting all sad. Still on a mission, trying to get to all the cash. Don't be mad at me, baby. I'm just trying to live and laugh. Acapella, because I never really need a track, but I'm done here. I'm going to let the rest of y'all. Oh, clap. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to let the rest of y'all clap. Clap on my time. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Give him another round of applause, please. <laughs> Give it up for the Prince. <laughs> All right. Get your raffle tickets out. 
Uh-huh. Thought I forgot, huh? <clears throat> I got to shake it, and then you grab. Okay. Because if, if you shake and grab, it looks funny. <laughs> All right. All right. Put your hands in the air if you got raffle tickets. Oh, this is going to be tough. Some, so many people don't have one. All right, share it with somebody. All right, here we go. I need to go. Don't look at it. Oh. Okay. I don't know why. You can look at it. Yeah. Okay, the number is 481-0242. Ah, hold on, let me see. No, that's eight. All right. Oh, where? Where we at? Let's go! The, what'd you do with the ticket? Huh? Phil? What'd you do? The ticket, what'd you do with it? Oh, the ticket right here. Oh, I gotta double check this. Okay. Four. Eight one zero zero eight. Give it up for my man. What's your name, buddy? Tell, tell everybody your name. Bona, B O N A. Bona, B O N A. What school you go to? Aki. Aki. You in Kingmakers? I'm a king. I'm a king. I'm a king. I'm a king. And you got Amazon. Okay, Whoever, whoever's doing King Reflection for your school, please get over here and be ready to go. All right, why am I doing this? Am I standing in the wrong spot? All right, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> 481, everybody's like, we know that part. <laughs> 104. Who that? Who that one? Come, come on. Are you playing? You for real? Oh, you not? You didn't win for real? Oh, she coming? Uh, well, come on down. You the next contestant on We Show Up. Now, it's not that I don't trust you, but the way our Amazon account is set up, you know, we, we got to double check. 481-104. Congratulations, Queen. What's your name? CC. CC. Which king are you representing today? Don. Don. What school? Aki. I'm a queen. I'm a queen. I'm a queen. I'm a queen. Okay. All right. Congratulations to you. Appreciate you. All right, you guys, we're going to get to the next piece. I do have one more raffle that we'll do. I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to do it, but we do have one more. So if you have your ticket, don't throw it on the ground in, in disgust. Hold on to it. So without further ado, Kings, that's doing the King Reflection, please come to the stage. Let's get ready. This mic is kind of hot, Damari. Um, I think we could share, though. Come on, King. Get in the black. Come on. Up here. You see that support? We show up. You see that support? Yeah. I love it. I love it. So the purpose of this piece right here is called the King Reflection. And one of the things that we want to do is, is, is give kings an opportunity to express to you as family members and supporters from our community about what they've learned and, and how these things apply to their life. This is not going to be a long-winded situation. This is really short. Um, just a basic concept and how it applies. 
They've all been coached <laughs> about time. So we're not concerned about that. Right, gentlemen? Beautiful. Say that again. My name is Nathan. I go to Benny International Middle School. I'm in eighth grade. And in Kingmakers, what Vision taught me is uh, you set goals in your mind and um, you work for those goals. And sometimes the vision doesn't get accomplished, but the goals and you learn from your goals is like what is the real vision, I guess, like teaches you. And um, that's the real lesson. Hello, my name is Russell. I go to Franklin and I'm a ninth grader. And one of the... Uh, one of the lessons that Mr. Parker taught us was, it was like one of the first days. We, it was called Positive Affirmations. We sat in a chair and we wrote, everybody else wrote positive notes about, uh, um, about us behind our back, basically. And it really just taught me how people outside and will talk just mess about you behind your back. And it was really positive. And it showed how we actually love each other and how it's really a brotherhood. Uh, and I would like to do my shout out to my mother, my godmom, Mr. Denard, Parker, uh, Dr. Williams. And yeah, thank you, thank you. My name's Niall, I go to Mercer, and uh, my teacher's Mr. Neil. Uh, we he made a, a PowerPoint about uh, Biggie and how like one of the lyrics to his songs like supported like like uh, success and like how you can how you can um, get better when, even when you aren't doing so well. My name's Alef, and I go to Aki. My teacher's Mr. Bradford. And so in class, we had this quote of the week that said, the difference, between, uh, that the difference between a boy and a man is that boys look to be served and men look to be of service. And so, <laughs> so this shows how like young men like me are becoming to a man and going through puberty and stuff, and shows the difference between a boy and a man. Uh, what's poppin'? My name is Goma Yusuf Soezi. I go to an agency. I'm just put it like this, everything I learned or everything I took from the Kingsmakers class that I got. I've been looking for myself, so you all. I've been living life and going through it. I will never say it's hard, because I promise I'm going to do something for my people, and my mom's got to take the first step. Can't be scared to give them my all, because I told them I'm going to make it for Check me if I ever show some mate towards you. They try to drive me down. I can't wait for you, so have faith. Life is not a rave. You don't got to catch up. <laughs> hey, but not for real though. Uh, I feel like no matter what you're doing in life, first one you got to thank before even yourself, your family, all that is God. I feel like ain't nothing in this world that happened not meant to be. If you want something, you got to go out and get it. You can't be sitting on your butt cheeks waiting for it to come to you, you know? Uh, 85% of the people that you meet and interact with is fake. And then the 15% of those that think they is, you really got to judge their character yourself, you know? Because even if we got somebody that we trust 90%, it's only because we ignoring that 10%, you know? So I say... Just because I'm up here, I want to thank Emery, you know. I want to thank Michael that's here. He be pulling up to the classes and all that. I want to thank everybody that put up, everybody that's here, that showed up. 
You know? That's all I got for y'all. Hey, y'all, have a nice day. Go, man. Give him another round of applause, please. Thank you. All right, I'm going to do the last raffle real quick. Get your, get your ticket ready. Get it ready. Psych, I'm not doing it right now. We, we. Facilitators, can you please come to the stage? This is the moment where we honor and celebrate the kings, and we want to we wanna do that first, and then we'll do the raffle. Okay. Facilitators, to the stage. If you are a kingmaker facilitator, make some noise and come up to the stage. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Hey, these men do amazing work. Give them a round of applause, y'all. Yeah. Brother Keenan. Cleveland, baby. Oh, I got you. I ain't going to be here. Where's Brother Emery? Hey. Hey. Always trying to make it. Come on, brother. Hey, you guys, come to the black area, please, up here. These are the leaders on the front line for our kings, y'all. These are the leaders on the front line for our kings, y'all. We show up. We show up. We show up. We show up. All right. So what we're what we're about to do here is um, each facilitator is going to have their kings line up over here at the stairs when they're told to line up. And then they're going to have them come up one by one, and we're going to crown the kings. We have crowns right here in the back. Each king will receive one. But before we do that, one thing that I have not had the chance to do tonight was allow each of the facilitators to introduce themselves to you. We've talked a lot about them, showed videos about them, but we're going to allow them to introduce themselves to you first. And in the same order that you've introduced, that's when you'll call your kids after all the introductions are done. I'm getting out the way. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, uh, all that. Hello, how's everybody? Man, hold on, wait a minute. Can, can we get some? Man, all right, dope, dope. Uh, what, what was that, Can we give me a little bit of who we are? Uh, Charles Parker, uh, been with Seattle Schools uh, for going on, I think, 15, 16 years, Franklin. I'm a facilitator there. Man, uh, we, hey, we show up. Not only do we show up, but we show out. I'm just saying, all right? Uh, am I missing something else, or do we need? Okay, cool. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming out tonight, uh, for family, guardian, friends. Man, this is a blessing to see y'all showing up for us uh, and showing up for these kings. Uh, that's it for me. All right, all right. Uh, Emery Walters, uh, interagency uh, Kingmakers facilitator. Um, I've been with the district quite some time, but it's funny, right? They say if you truly love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life, right? And uh, my boss, uh, Dr. Williams, I don't know where she ran off to, but behind me, oh, there she, because she got my back, right? She shows up. Uh, but, but no, I, I think, um, again, when we talk about we show up, you guys all should give yourselves a round of applause because we all show up for the babies, right? Uh, they say... The three entities, right? The school, the family, the community, right? When I look out into this audience, I see the school. I see the family, and I see the community showing up. And not just showing up, you know, one day or two days or three weeks or four weeks. Showing up the whole 180 days, right? Because it does. It takes a village. It takes all of us with our gifts and our talents to really um, impart and instill in these young brothers, right? Because I think we can all admit that... Um, 
it's a really challenging time to be not just a young man in America, but specifically a young black man, right? And so when we show up to the, when I show up to the classroom every day, I promise you, Kings, and I'm start talking specifically to you guys right now, I give you guys my all, right? Uh, W.E.B. Du Bois, I think he said that uh, kids learn more from who you are than actually what you teach. And then, um, and I'll wrap it up with this, but they also say that um, if students have just one person in their life, right, that really shows interest to them, if they have just that one person that that can change the whole trajectory, right, and I often say that if you can change one, you can change a generation. But this time, I'm going to kind of flip it a little bit, right? You kings that I've taught over the years and over the time, you guys have actually made me a better instructor. You guys have made me show up every single day, and, and I salute you guys, and yes. And I tip my hat to you guys, and also, also, I tell you guys, right, leadership will cost you something. If you truly think you are a leader, it's going to be lonely. There's going to be times when, you know, people don't get with you and they don't believe what it is that you're talking about, but you have to believe in your spirit and in your soul, right, when you show up for the people, places, and spaces that you're going to serve, that you are making the world a better place um, than it was when you got here. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, my name is Keenan Allen Ladd. Oh, this is too close. My name is Keenan Allen Ladd. Um, I am the Kingmaker Facilitator at Denny International Middle School. Um, there we go, Denny International Middle School. Um, I would like to say it's been a pleasure and honor. It's definitely been a journey for each one of our kings here um, within Kingmakers. Um, one thing that we always say and always preach is one thing is like, of course, education, grades is always one thing. Um, but one thing that we always know is that we're trying to build great human beings, great people. Your lasting, your lasting thing that will stick with each and every one of you guys may or may not be your grades, how you did well you did in school, but how you make somebody, how you make somebody feel, right? That, that first impression is always, uh, is always a lasting impression, but I like to say the last one is, is as well. You can have a great first impression, but how you live, leave, uh, leave each person in that situation can stick with them forever. Um, so we've just been teaching every single day to be the best that you can be. Um, something else that we always uh, teach our, our kings and things like that is at the end of the day, right, in class, you could always not remember the last assignment, the last test that you did or anything like that. But if you don't, it's okay to ask questions, right? Question everything. It's okay to question everything. And I always tell them the bare minimum, number one, is to show up. Make sure you're in class on time. If you do know the answer, look to the left, look to the right, and help somebody else. If you don't know the answer, be okay to ask questions, because questions will give you guys a, take you guys a long way in life, all right? Um, real quick message like that. Um, again, Keenan Island Lad, um, Denny International Middle School, and it's a pleasure and an opportunity. It feels great to see all these beautiful faces, families, um, colleagues in the building to support not just us in any way, shape, or form, but all these kings in this section right here, right? So can we do a favor and give a round of applause for all of our kings over here on the left side of this other building, please? Thank you, thank you. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name's Dante Neal. I'm the facilitator at Mercer International Middle School. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to actually be brief, unlike the rest of y'all. Uh, <laughs> now, nah, I just want to say this. Um, these young men mean everything to me. And it's not just the ones that I have right now that are sitting in those seats. It's the ones I've had before, like Russ. I've had the opportunity and the pleasure to teach a lot of these kings that are in high school now. They had me in middle school. And just to see them grow and develop and become these strong, powerful leaders is just the best part about what I do. Um, I want to say thank you to all the parents, not just the ones at Mercer, but everywhere, all of you, because you guys created such amazing young men who are going to be future leaders. And... Um, Yo, come on, clap. Clap it up for your kids. Let's go. Um, thank you to Dr. Williams, Brother Will, Superintendent Jones, who's here, <laughs> Brother A.D., everybody that's associated with Kingmakers, thank you so much for everything that you do. And, um, you know, to my facilitators, you guys lead the way. And, I mean, you guys are strong examples for these young men. So thank you, everybody. I'm Marcus Bradford, uh, facilitator at the 
Aki Crosby Middle School. I want to, um, y'all crazy. I want to give a special shout out to Brother King, Dr. Williams, Trayvon, I'll call you Trayvon, Dr. Jones, and Brother AD, Brother Shoecraft, Principal Larry, Terry Thompson, oh my God, Terry. And um, without the, the support, I couldn't be there for these uh, kings, so uh, I want to give a shout out to them. And uh, the Aki kids, I want y'all to stand up real quick. Hey, this is, this is for y'all. First time at the crowning ceremony. <laughs> oh man, that's a tough one to follow up. Make a round of applause for the Aki kids. I love them guys. And of course our facilitator of the year, Marcus Bradford. My name is Cypress Richardson. I'm the facilitator at the illustrious Grover Cleveland High School. Come on, go Eagles. My kings are here today, but something that we shared in class was very important to me. This is not just a program for hugs and kisses and nurturing. We also teach these young men literary concepts. And one of the things that we taught today in my class was literally being in a position versus metaphorically being in a position. Literally, they might not be here, but my kings are here with us in spirit. So if we could lift them up real quick. One is, uh, is Jess King right now, so I know he's having fun. So let's clap it up for all the kings that aren't here that didn't get to make it. I appreciate all the families for coming out here and supporting your children. That is so, so, so important. I love you guys, and I appreciate you guys. Big love to the team back here, everybody that came from Oakland as well. This is just the start, you guys. This is just the start. So be on the lookout for all the great things that our facilitators do, our administrators do, and you guys do as well. So thank you guys. Round of applause for yourself. Shout out to y'all. Love you guys. Give another round of applause for the great facilitators. Now what we have next is literally what we've been waiting for and the reason why we are here today. Uh, and so we're going to crown the kings that made it through this year. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I thought the church wasn't here. The church is here today. But yeah, so we're going to get started on that. I'm going to stall in a little bit for Dr. Williams, the queen, because, you know, she needs her time, you know. But <laughs> here's Dr. Williams, our boss. <laughs> Silly. Hello, everyone. I just wanted to give a shout out to the principal. So if you're here from one of the Kingmaker sites, if you are a principal, if you can please make your way up to the stage as well. So when your kings are coming on stage, give a big round of applause to the, the principals in the house. And their facilitators will introduce them when they come to the stage. That's all I wanted to say. And I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Parker. Thank you. Thank you, Queen. I just want to say, uh, again, big up to everybody that supports us. Uh, Dr. Williams, you have been amazing. Uh, man, without you, this is, does not happen. Uh, Dr. Jones, Brother AD, Brother Will, Brother Trevor, everybody just love. Uh, with no further delay, can Franklin stand up, please? Also, hold on. Time out. Franklin, stand up, but also, I want to give a special shout out also to my principal, uh, Mr. Eric Weiss for Franklin High School. Please come up. Yeah. All right. Thank you, thank you. Thank you too. I just want to say thank you for always trusting in me uh, and just giving me the green light. You know, I know one day I asked for a hot tub in the steam room. He was like, uh, let me think about that. But, you know, I was asking just to see, right? Uh, Another shout I want to give to is Brother Denard. Brother C. Denard, are you in the building? Brother Denard, come on up here, Brother Denard. Come get some. Uh, this brother supports me uh, like no other. Uh, there's days when I'm sick. There's days when I'm out. There might be a day when I need a mental health day. This brother said, Parker, I got you. So I just want to give him this flower too today. Brother, brother Denard. Yeah. All right, dope. All right, so can I have all the kings? I'm going to call you. Come on, stand up over here, and I'm going to call you up, all right? Uh, first up, Brother Russell, come on up. Cheater. All right, next up, Brother Chris. King Chris, where you at? All right. Uh, King Manny, are you in the building? 
King Manny. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, uh, King Leonard, are you in the building? Come on up. Uh, let me see. King Chris, you in the building? Come on up. Chris, where you at? Come on up here. Where's he at? Okay, okay, maybe out here. Okay, let me go ahead. Uh, King Ramel, come up here. Where you at, brother? All right. Dope, dope. Uh, King Zach, if you're in the building, come on up. Get crowned. King Gus, step on up. Let's go. King Sabani, come on up here. Where you at? You up here? Okay, cool. All right. Uh, King Bakil, come on up. Listen, don't be scared, man, but this is about y'all. This is about y'all. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I'm missing somebody. Uh, King Wakil, come on up. All right, come on. Uh, I'm just making sure. King If Not, come on up. King Mateo, come on up. All right. Well, this is crazy to say King Prince, but can you say, can you do that? King Prince, come on up. <laughs> All right. King Anwar, King Anwar in your building, come on up. King Manny, are you here? Come on up. King Amada, come on up. All right, dope. Uh, let me see. King Osman, come on up. Oh, you here? All right. King Omar, come on up. King Omar? Okay. Uh, King Ahmed, come on up. King Avery, come on up. All right, King Earl, come on up. All right. Uh, King E.B., come on up. All right. Uh, man, who's up? Come, hey, come on up, Kings. You guys just can't. Come on up. 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 Come on up here. Come on up. Come get crowned. Let's go. Anybody else that came in late, where you at? Come on up. I mean, man, it's, anybody else? It's Franklin, come back. You in the building? Where you at? Is that you? Your brother Josiah, is that you? Come on up. Is he in the building? Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, that's it. That's it. Appreciate y'all. They're going to get the photo win. We're going to turn up this music a little bit. Next, next we have Mr. Dow. Shake your hand real hard, like you know, like it's a day of sports or something. But yeah, <laughs> it's his brother Emery. All right, all right, thank you. Uh, I'll try to be really quick uh, with with my guys. But again, as I told the sister earlier today, you can't rush perfection. And so, with that said, um, I always believe in giving honor where honor is due. And I think the administrator that we have here from interagency is Shaw Sullivan. Brother, would you please come on up? Uh, as my boss just told me, if we have any interagency staff in the building, would you please stand up? Any interagency staff? Okay. Now they're clapping. Let's see if they continue to clap when I call them on the stage. Will y'all join me on the stage, please? They're not clapping as hard, right? Come on, come on. It takes a village, right? It takes a village. And as they're coming to the stage, if all of the interagency kings would please stand up. Like I always say, we're many members, but one body. All right, and you guys can see sometimes there's a lot of things that happen in places and spaces behind us, right, that, take, uh, that it takes to actually do this kind of work. And I also believe, like, the leadership, right? The leadership is very important, right, because things rise and they fall uh, with leadership. But with that said, um, can I have the interagency kings line up at the steps, at the foot of the steps, and I will call you guys up individual. Let's start with Brother Avery. Come on up, King. Come on up.
Brother Muhammad, would you please join us, King? And some of y'all might recognize this brother right here, uh, the young uh, Jamal Reed. Come on up, brother. Right hand for the righteous man. All right, Kareem the Dream, come on up, brother, come on up. And let's make sure we shake everybody's hand because everybody has a role in this work, yes? No child left behind, no adult left behind. All right. And this brother right here, uh, he's a leader, but he don't know that he's a leader until today because we all see it. Don, come on up, brother. And Brother Jamie, if you would wait, make your way to the stage, please, sir. Jamie. <laughs> and they often say they save the best for last. Brother Yusuf, a.k.a. Young Malcolm, a.k.a. So Easy. Slow and steady, look at him. That brother will never get an ulcer, I promise you. <laughs> I'm a nickname that brother slow motion. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys all for showing up and showing out for our babies. We appreciate you all. Give her another round of applause for the Kings at Interagency. Now, now we're going to do the dude that thinks he can, you know, beat me in bowling. Uh, <laughs> but now <laughs> we, we got Keenan from Diddy International Middle School. I think that's what it is. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Little backstory: We was in Oakland, California, for uh, our King Maker Spring Symposium, and I kind of, uh, yeah, we ain't even gonna talk about that. All right. Um, again, my name is uh, Keenan Allen Ladd, uh, King Maker facil Facilitator at Diddy International Middle School. Um, I would like. To I would like to honor as well our principal, Principal uh, Ingram here. Um, thank you so much for being a support to us at Denny and showing Kingmaker so much, so much, so much love and giving us the grace and opportunity to give even more love to our kings, especially the ones who need it the most, right? Um, with that being said, I want to make sure we honor our kings. We got a good 30 piece over there. So kings, can you guys stand up and make our way to the front, please? Thank you so much. You guys can give him a round of applause. I might make him walk a little quick. Give, give Denny a round of applause, please. There we go. Our first king goes by the name of King Nathan. Nathan, please come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King Josie. Josie, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King Ibrahim. Come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King Jabril. Jabril, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King Ibrahim. Come to the stage, please. Hey, I'm going to be 100, though. I need, more, I need more love for my kids, though. Come on now. I need more love from them. 
for him. Next up, we have King Dave Devlin. Devlin, come to the stage. I'm going to speed up because we do got a lot. Next up, we have King Khalid. Khalid, come to the stage, please. There you go. Good job. Next up, we have King Rafiki. Rafiki, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King Rafi. Rafi, come to the stage, please. Congratulations. Next up, we have King Isaiah. Isaiah, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King Hamza. Hamza, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King Damar. Damar, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King Caduce. Caduce, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King King Yusuf. Come to the stage, please. Oh, yeah, we got two, we got two Yusufs in a row. We have King Yusuf coming to the stage as well. Next up, we have King Andre Kuo coming to the stage. Ready? Next up, we got, we got Marquise. Marquise, come to the stage, please. Huh? I can't even see. Next up, we have. Who am I looking at? We have. I can't see. Thank you. We have. We have <laughs> Huh? I can see. You want me to call you first or the last one? He always, he always talks about his last name, and I want to always make sure I say it right. We have King Kamara come to the stage, please. I had to make sure I said his last name right. <laughs> Next up, we have King Lloyd. Lloyd, come to the stage, please. Hey, last name, baby. Next up, we have Precio. Precio, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have Ilias. Ilias, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have DeAnthony. DeAnthony, come to the stage, please. We have EO. EO, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King Amari, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King Javian, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King Jeremiah, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King Lamar, come to the stage, please. You're welcome. Next up, we have King Abacar, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King Doe, come to the stage, please. Next up, we have King Noble, come to the stage, please. Last but not least, we have King Ayub, come to the stage, please. Thank you guys so much. Denny International Middle School, we have a lot, and we have a lot more who's not so. So keep, please give my king so much love, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Udo, Udo. Please give it up for the, for the kings at Denny. Can we give it up for the kings at Denny? Hey, I want to give it for the guy who lost in bowling. Remember that? Oh, oh no, you don't remember. Uh, I want to give it for, for Mr. Neil at, at hey, what? Mercer Middle School. It's right up the street from Cleveland. I don't know, I, I don't know how I forgot, but hey, Mercer Middle School. Amen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>
Uh, yo, this has been one of the best years ever for my class, and I'm so proud of these young men. So um, let's get this going. First up is King Jace Kurtz. Come on, bro. <laughs> Next up is King Easy Money Tap. Future O Day superstar, by the way. Easy money. Next up is King Niall Randolph Dodd. <laughs> Niall! Let's go! <laughs> Next up is King Sam Neasley. Next up is King Jordan Armstrong. And last but not least, King Malcolm Diaz Lopez. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Neal. Thank you, Mr. Neal, from Mercer Middle School, up this street from Cleveland. That's how I know it. Now, up next, I want to give it to the, uh, I think everybody knows him by now. His name is Mr. Bradford. Uh, and, and he's, he's going to introduce Aki Karose. Uh, I just want to let y'all know, I went to Aki Karose, so it's the greatest middle school you'll know. So. Where you at? I'm gonna give it to Mr. Bradford. Can I please have um, Principal Lowry and Mr. Tom, Mr. Terry? All right. We gonna go with our sixth graders first. Our sixth graders first. First sixth grader is David Black. David Black. Yeah, yeah, take this off. You shake your hand and I'll give it to him. Next up, we have Don Dowlin. <laughs> Next up, we have Savion Eaglesburg. Next up, we have Chancellor Ellaby. Next up, we have Bona Fletner. Got a lot of them. Next up, we have Isaiah Harrison. Next up, we have Aleph Lloyd. That concludes our sixth graders. Now we're going to go to our seventh graders. Our seventh graders. Seventh graders. London West. Next up, we have Rylan Brown. Rylan Brown. Next up, we have Ade Amoda. Yeah. 
Next up, we have Kalik Reese. Next up, we have King Emmanuel Scott. Next up, we have Jeffrey Simmons. Next, we have King Jaden Smith. Next up, we have Rakai Hartzell. Next up, we have King Ronnie Grant. King Ronnie Grant. Next up, King Joseph Gamble. Next, we have King Paul Durvin. Next, we have King Joseph Coleman. Yeah. Hey, that's the NBA draft. Yeah. Next up, we have King Mohamedou Ba. Next up, we have King Adam Powell. Next up, we have the queen, the queen, Nyara Jackson. That concludes our seventh graders. Now we're going to our eighth graders. We're going to our eighth graders. First, we have King Manuel Akins. Next, we have King Yaku Adikadir. Next up, we have King Kaisan Ash. <laughs> Next up, we have, sorry, Michael Body. Next, we have King J. Andre Castillo. Next up, we have King Dylan Chester.
Next up, King Cassius Clark. Next up, we have the King Choice Wilkins. Next up, we have King Dominique Pabajo Curtis. Next up, we have Mohamedou Hydra. Next up, we're going to miss this king. He's, good. He, he's leaving us. He's going to Texas, y'all. Kevin Herbert. Next up, we have Elijah Graves. Next up, King Christopher Kaur. Last but not least, everybody's favorite, Devin Chester. Take a picture, take a picture, take a picture, take a picture. Everybody, thank y'all so much for your support. Give yourself a round of applause. Hey, hey, we need you. We need you. Hold on right quick, I'm taking a picture. Are you going hockey too? Cypress, come on stage. Now, ha, sorry, man, my fault. Uh, can we give another applause for Aki, please? <laughs> uh, but now, but now we're, we're gonna have Mr. Cypress. Uh, I remember he taught me my last year at Cleveland High School. Uh, we're gonna do the best high school in the world, you know, highest graduation rate. I don't know if y'all knew that, but now you do. Uh, and so we're gonna do Cleveland High School. Give it up for Cypress. Thank you, Trayvon. Thank you, Trayvon. Like I said, wait, can we give Aki just another round of applause, man? I love Aki. I love Aki. Give a quick shout out. The queen that stepped on stage, Miss Naira, she's one of the helpers in the Kingmakers classroom. So big up, not just our kings, but our queens too. All right. Like I said earlier, my fellas ain't here, but I'm going to hold it down for them. I'm going to list their names out, and if you guys could, Please lift their names up with as much joy and as much energy as you can. First name that I have is our local pianist. He's not Stevie Wonder. His name is Zacharias Grant, and he's going to be one of the next best piano players in the world. We have our filmmaker and producer, Mr. Marcellus Clayton. Yup, give it up for him. Give it up for him. We have another filmmaker and a future actor, Mr. Jamarius McLean. Give it up for Jamarius. 
We have not only an athlete, but an engineer as well. He wants to go to UCLA when he gets older, Mr. Jalen Lowe Patterson. Up next, we have our anime artist. He's a dope, dope, dope creator. And I can't wait to see some of the great things that he does in life. Mr. Jordan Hall Tarver, give it up for Jordan. All right, all right, all right. Our music connoisseur, our old soul, my guy, Quincy Mays. Give it up for Quincy. Our offensive line and our, our team captain for our football team, Mr. Abdul Hassan. Give it up for Abdul. And last but not least, repping the Tri-Cities. I wish he was here right now. My guy, Mr. Jeslam Omar. Give it up for him. Give it up for the Eagles. And before I get off stage, Trayvon, come here, man. Come here, bro. This right here is my forever king, okay? He might have graduated and whatnot, but this is my favorite dude right here. He does so much for SPS. He goes to UW, and he's killing it right now. So lift him up right now. He's doing his best, and he wanted to come back and give to y'all. I appreciate you, bro. Got nothing but love for this guy. King forever, man. Give me some. Come on. Of course, man. Take it home. Man, I appreciate you, Mr. Cypress. Um, but we got one last thing. Please don't leave yet. We're going to hear from the woman who started all this. It was the queen. She's like a second mother to me. Yes, I got a lot of fathers and mothers, but they're all, they're all my mentors. Um, I, lo I love her very much. She's the, one who's, she's the one who put this on. And this is Dr. Williams. Thank you. Please stay. We did, we did have an exit ticket because we do want to always get better and hear from you. So make sure you get that. And there is one more raffle, so there's still another $50 Amazon. Um, before I have Brother AD, our partners with Kingmakers of Oakland, um, Sister Stacy, Queen Stacy, if you're here, all the Oakland people, if you could stand up so we can give you a big round of applause. <laughs> Oakland, so you can see Kingmakers of Oakland, where it started. And that is our sister site. So we want to thank them for all their effort. We have many partners in the house, Skanska, Seahawks, all sort of things. So if you're one of our partners, if you'll please stand up. Stand up. You don't let me start calling you out by your name. <laughs> yes, give a round of applause, you guys. They support in so many ways. We also want to make sure that we say thank you to Chief Self for having us and um, their staff for helping us. And there's many SPS people that are here. If you are part of SPS staff, please stand up. Please stand up if you're SPS staff, because you all should be standing up. There's lots in the house. Yes. Okay. Um, we always have to say shout out to our elder Felder, Dr. Felder. That's our elder we, who's been leading with us. He's our cultural pearl for the community. We want to say thank you. Mr. Donaldson, too, we, we same thing, our elders. We would need to make sure that we're grateful. There are many, like I said, SPS people that have helped. Jen has been huge. There's tons. And we always got to make sure, I know she introduced herself before, but we have our vice president of our school board here, Michelle Sarju, if you'll please stand up. Thank you for your service. And, of course, as you guys know, because I know you've been watching the news, Dr. Jones is quite busy. But you know what? He made it here tonight, and I want to thank him for being here. Stand up, Dr. Jones, Superintendent Jones. Yes. <laughs> I know I'm forgetting a lot of people that we were supposed to say thank you, but I want to just tell you that who's been working tireless. If you are part of AMA, can you please come to the stage? Kelvin, Abiat, all the facilitators have been introduced, but the team, Will King. Will, where are you at? He's probably outside. Oh, here he's coming. Come on out. Come on out here, Will. Y'all, I will tell you, this team, I am so grateful to this team, but I want to tell you that behind this has been Will King. He hasn't really slept. Give him a big round of applause for putting this together, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. And our partners at Deal. Glenn, all the people from the city who support us with dollars, but these are our, our team. This is Kelvin, this is Abiat, and um, I don't, Stephen, are you in here? Yeah, he is. Stephen's probably hiding somewhere, but there's more. Right Stand up, he should be up here too. Um, so these are part of the office of AMA. We're not all here, and plus the facilitators. 
I just, if you guys could please give them a big round of applause. They work tirelessly every day. I'm so grateful for our kings in our city. And you know that um, the biggest thing is we want to just thank you kings for being amazing. We see you. We see your black excellence every day. We appreciate you. And families and community, give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you for coming out and showing up, being here. We're very appreciative. So um, I just wanted to give Dr. Jones a moment to say anything. If he wants to say, he's like, nope. But Brother AD is going to close us out. But again, if we could get those exit tickets to people's hands, because it's important if we don't hear from you, nothing about us without you, out us. Oh, brother, oh, there's one more raffle before Brother AD closes us out. Oh, and Anthony Shoecraft, if you're still in the house, where's Anthony? <laughs> where's Shoe? I, I don't know. Where, do I see him? Where's he at? Shoecraft? Oh, he's sitting down. Brother Shoecraft, when we're telling the founding people, when we sat in a room and we dreamed of this, who knew that we would be here in 2024? So shout out to you. Thank you so much. So. Hey, give a big round of applause to DJ Cun Love Jr. On the, hey, hey, Cun, give me some shake music for the raffle. Turn me up, turn me up, turn me up, turn me up. I need, I need some raffle shake music, man. Uh, I'm gonna let Brother AD pull it. Somebody said you was unlucky and we needed a new pull. All right, we gotta get the shake music first. Can we get some shake music, Cun? You got me? All right, here we go. I see your hands working fast over there. I don't know what that means, but it looks stressful. You got me? Hey, hold your raffle tickets up, y'all. Hold it. Hold them up. Hold them up. All right. Four, eight, one. We know that part. All right, here's the last three. Y'all ready? Zero, eight, two, two. Do we got a winner? Four, eight, one, zero, two, two. Do we got a winner? Come on down. Teach me how to win. Teach me, teach me how to win. <laughs> come on, come on. Bring the baby. All right. Not that we don't believe you. We just got to double check. Four, eight, one. Zero, two, two. You win. Who, which, which king are you representing tonight? Cassius. What school? Aki. Aki. I'm a queen. I'm a queen. I'm a little queen. <laughs> okay. All right. You are a winner. Give a round of applause, y'all. <laughs> Brother AD, take us home, man. All right, y'all. Seattle, stand up. Stand up, Seattle. Stand up. Stand up. You've been sitting all day. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Seattle, stand up. First of all, big shout out to Chief Self and their staff. We give thanks for them opening the doors for us. Give it up for them. We give shouts out to Dr. Jones. Give it up for big Will King, who put this all together. So shout out, Will King. Job well done, brother. To Samia, to all the facilitators, to all the parents, we thank you. Now, repeat after me. I am love. Come on, y'all, you can do better than that. I am love. I am hope. I am the future. I am love. I am hope. I am the future. Give me 10 seconds, y'all. So check this out. Give me 10 seconds. My youth, Aki, all the cats over here to the left. And we almost out of here, y'all. I just need five seconds. I need five seconds. I still hear folks talking. 
This is real. What we're doing here is legacy building. The young people are our future. We create rituals because we as black folks have always had rituals. This crowning ceremony is part of just that. We are legacy building. Why are you young people talking? Why are you young people talking? Y'all are kings. Y'all went through this for a whole year. We're celebrating you. Dylan, thank you. Our young people are our legacy, y'all. If we do not continue to pour into them and give them love, guidance, and courage, we cannot be afraid of our young people. When you see them on the street, greet them, say hello. When you see them doing wrong, say something. We've lost that. I am love. I am hope. I am legacy. The last thing is, my dear brother Anthony Shoecraft, he lost his mother. Mildred Jenkins, we are with you, brother, always and forever. Her legacy lives on through you, brother. And because of who she is, is who you are, and how you've shown up to this community in Seattle, brother. So we see you all day. We love you. We honor you, and we honor your mother's legacy. And as we leave here today, I just got one thing for y'all to do. Tell somebody who you have not talked to in a long time that you love them. There may be some beef or whatever it is. Tell that person you love them. Have a great night. Thank you, y'all. Be well. Sit down and stand up. Let's go. Yeah, we can't forget to shout out C. Davis Barbecue, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the food.